Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to Half Pint FPV. And this is This Week on the Internet. So, first bit of news. The drone racing league has just come to an end with JFPV taking first place for the second year in a row. Huge congrats to him. I was lucky enough to go to the finders was at Alexandra Palace. I spoke with some of the pros and got a signed prop. You can see the video by clicking the little box in the corner. Next up, my prediction for the next big flyer. It has to be Vortex. He's a friend of the drip, flies at a lot of bandos. And is a wicked flyer. He's located in Detroit and has some wicked flow. Go give him a sub and like one of his videos. Talking about subscribing, I'm aiming to get 150 subscribers by the end of the summer. If you could subscribe, it would really help me out and I'd be extremely grateful. Now for my top 5 products of the week. Taking the 4th and 5th place are the Brother Hobby R5 Returners. I have to put the Deadpool ones in 4th as he is my preferred hero. Also, the motor design on the Deadpool motors is much more detailed rather than the Red Hulk motors, which I put into 5th. It looks like they were following the trend of the Emax White Limited Edition motors and Mr. Steel's Silk motors with the 23mm Stata and 2450 KV. Coming in at 3rd is the RAF32 ESCs. These support Bell Heli 32, which is the neck protocol up from Bell Heli S. This makes it produce even smoother throttle management. What's this? Breaking news. Mr. Seal messes up his fingers. However, not from a hand launch, not a power loop for his legs. Rather, trying to cut hot dogs with a drone. That is really gross. Dead. <laughs> the hot dog like He did severe damage to his legs and fingers. Fuck it. But luckily it's still able to rip some packs. Back to my top five. In second place is the Roncam split. It records in HD and sends out a first person view. It weighs 21 grams, which can greatly reduce the weight of a drone, considering you don't have to have a GoPro or other camera on it. And the product of the week is GNB batteries. So why are these so great? They have a removable balance lead. I always struggle to keep the balance lead out of the propeller's way. But now I don't have to worry at all, as so I can just take it off. They come in 1300 and 1500 milliamps. The best part, however, is the 120C rating. Awesome. That's all for this week. Make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe and have a good week.